guys, Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. If you want to see all of our new inventory every week, please hit that subscribe button. We get new cars in daily. Hit the like button. Appreciate you checking us out. Let's go. What is up, guys? Rob here at Bob Evans Classics. I got a beautiful Camaro up for sale today. We're going to go over the good, the bad, and the ugly, if there's any, and do a complete walkthrough of this gorgeous beauty. Before we get started, I need you to hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see all of our new classic cars. Also, leave me a comment if you like the car. Give me your feedback if you love it, you hate it, if you think the price was right, overpriced or underpriced. We'll go ahead and get started. A 1968 Chevy Camaro Z28 Tribute, not a real Z28. This is a bit of a resto mod. It's got a 383 stroker under the hood, a crate engine. It's got less than 10,000 miles on the engine. It's paired with an automatic transmission, brand new from GM. It's got a DTS a rear end in it. That's also new. Power steering, power brakes. Runs and drives pretty much the way it's supposed to. It drives actually better than a 68 350 would drive. It's got upgraded steering. It's a driver's driver car is what I call it. I'm gonna go over every single flaw on it just to give you an idea, idea of the general condition. The outside is driver quality. It's a little bit cheaper of a paint job but mechanically they didn't spare any expense the guy i got it from made it a solid driver and that's what it is this car you get in you prime it which we'll get in it a little bit pump the gas once it starts right up fires up it doesn't need to warm up very much you get in it go and enjoy it so we get started with the exterior outside this door panel is in good condition there's no visible flaws on it you can see my reflection in it pretty good. I would say to make this car real nice, sand it down, wet sand it, block it, and put a nice buff on it. Get any imperfections that's in the clear coat. This fender's in good condition. I don't see any flaws on it. I do see a little, looks like a little overspray right there. I'm trying to point out every single thing I can find little dip in the paint right there wheels are in good shape tires got plenty of life left in them I got the z28 badges there going to the front of the car the biggest flaw i see is going to be the hood the hood's not original hood it is sitting a little high on this side so it will need to be adjusted as you can see it's got a little gap there this side sits so much more better and flush it sits the way it should I'm guessing if you get the hinge lined up right, loosen it up, it should sit way, way better. And that's the only thing I would do to it to make it fit better. Bumpers in good condition, chrome's in nice shape. The grill, Z28 grill. Lights don't have any cracks on them, they all look good as well. Going to this side, this fender appears to be in good shape. Again, get a little bit of overspray on the chrome on that side it looks like it may be a reflection but same thing here definitely a cheap paint job but it doesn't look bad it's a solid looker uh, it's a I would say three feet away it's not a five footer or ten footer it's a solid looking car I don't see any rod on it looks like they had a little bit of body work done here Okay. These are not chips. Looks like there's dirt in the paint. Little crack right there in the paint. OK. 
Okay, you got a little bit here of imperfections in the paint. I don't know if you see that, but a little cracking there. Same thing on that side. Trunk lid sits good. This quarter panel has two little spots right there and there. Lower quarter's good. I don't see any flaws in it there. Going back to this side. Seems to be in good shape. Going to the undercarriage. Undercarriage looks good. Frame rails look good. Floors look real good. Looks solid. Let's see if we see any oil leaking. I don't see any oil down on the pan or anything. I'll show you under the hood. Under the hood is in good condition. I don't see any oil leaks or anything. It was sitting over here for a few days and I don't see anything on the ground. It was sitting lined up right here. So I don't see any wet spots that are new. Frame rails look good. No rot, no rust. Tires all appear in good shape. They look, do look older. They're radial, BF Goodrich. Let's see the date code on them. Look like, I don't know, probably 20, is that 2018? Let's see. DOT number 2109. Not sure the age of them. They look probably five years old. We do have looks like the weather stripping needing to be replaced. Inside door jams were not painted, it looks like. But I don't see any rust, any rot. This door panel is in average shape. The seat's in decent shape. Interior is decent. I wouldn't say it's not bad, but it's not great. It's again, just a driver quality. Does have some aftermarket gauges the owner put into it. And it's a middle console car. I would definitely say inside's probably six and a half, seven out of 10. The exterior is, I would say an eight out of 10 for as a driver. It's not a show car by any means, maybe seven and a half out of 10. But for most people, this looks really, really good. I know my car guys are gonna be like, yo, it's not a great looking car. But for most normal people, it's gonna look good. A little dip right here too, I just noticed. Looks like it had a little dent right there. Somebody nipped the nose. We'll go ahead and open it up. Look under the hood, go from there. And there it is, 383. Got MSD ignition. Power steering. Power brakes. And a four barrel carb underneath. Yeah, it's really solid. I don't see any leaks, anything. Looks like upgraded radiator and fan as well. New alternator. Yeah, it definitely looks clean under here. Here is the body plate for all you experts out there. Let me think, if, or let me say this. Can you guys tell, is it a six or an eight cylinder car originally? That's the VIN plate right there. All my guys, let me know. And the VIN starts with a one, two, three, three, seven, eight. I know the answer, but do you know the answer? Leave a comment down below. Well, let's go ahead and fire it up, guys. Oh, by the way, let me show you the rear end. Damn, DTS rear end, brand new. Looks beautiful. Again, a solid driver. This thing 
thing just sings. Nice and smooth, the engine sounds good. That was a, not warmed up or anything. It was not an absolute cold start because I did move it out of there about 20 minutes ago, but fuel gauge is working. Showing 44,135 miles. The engine and trans have less than 10K on them. You got these extra gauges here. Let's see if the lights work and the turn signals work. Left turn signal works. Lights work and the right turn signal works. Okay. Mm. Working real good, everything seems to be operating. Horn does not work. That's the only thing that does not work. Let's turn it off real quick. Look in the trunk. We'll restart it and go on a test drive. We'll see if I can get somebody to go with me so we can film it. You think I know how to do this by now? There we go. We got a winner. Trunk is clean. No rot, no rust. Perfect. See if it'll start right back up, or are we gonna have to pump it and play with it? <laughs> Let's see. Starts right back up. All right, guys, let's shut the hood and we'll go for a drive. All right, guys, I got nobody with me to go on this test drive, so I'm gonna attempt to hold the camera and drive it at the same time. Hopefully, this goes to plan and we won't have an issue. a little squeaking in the back it sounds like shocks or something look at that that thing just wants to fly <laughs> i'm holding the brake and the gas down a little bit just so you know what i'm doing I'm just trying to rev it up this thing is quick I have driven this car before when I bought it. Yeah, so far the only thing I've noticed is the back. I hit that bump, just a little squeak. But it sounds great. Looks like all the gauges are working. Yeah, water temperature, voltage, oil pressure. I'm not even getting on it. Whew. Handling the road really well. Holding it with one hand like it's nothing. We're not all over the road or anything.
brakes feel too good. Holy. This thing will stop on a dime. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Let's do a little stop and test up here at the stop sign. Slam on them. Oh, yeah. Stopped really good. And I didn't get all the way on them. But brakes feel real good. It's got good power. Transmission's shifting very well. Let's pull out a little aggressive on this. We are on a highway, so we'll see. Hopefully we get out of here safe. of power it gets up and goes solid car guys this is a driver car you want something that drives well this is it it's got a good look to it. it's not a bad looker at all but it's not a show car if you're interested give me a call 215-801-9493 you'll reach me directly no salespeople you'll deal with me and we'll put a deal together asking 32,000 for this beautiful nice driver let me know guys appreciate you checking out our page if you made it to the end leave me a comment rob i made it to the end i am a true fan i appreciate you watching the whole video talk to you guys later